Hi there, my name is Jenny and I'm one of the careers advisors here at the Career Service. Welcome to our top three interview tips. This short video is designed to highlight in brief things you can do to help you achieve interview success. There is lots of support for you at the Career Service to help you with interview technique and my final slide will give you some ideas for your next steps. So here we are, our top three tips, preparation, research and practice. And I'm going to take you through each one in turn as we proceed through this video. So here at the Career Service, we meet students and graduates who've booked in for interview practice. And I would suggest there is a definite correlation between efforts made with their preparation and their ultimate interview success. Just before we start looking in detail at our top tips, it's worth saying a word about online recruitment. So by this, I'm referring to both the pre-recorded video interview, so often used by employers, as a pre-sifting tool earlier on in the recruitment process, but also referring to individual and panel group interviews that are now in the main taking place online via platforms um, like Teams, Zoom, etc. So we are aware through feedback from Trendant surveys, employers and talking to students themselves, that students and graduates really do fear the pre-recorded video more than any other aspect of the recruitment process. One of the reasons for this is the pressure to perform on the clock, as it were, with time responses. Crucially then, for video interviews, preparation is paramount and can really help with coping under pressure. So tip one, preparation. So why do we need to prepare? Why is it important? Well, significantly, the more prepared you are, the more confident you should feel, ready to deal with anything you are asked. And also importantly, aware of the types of questions that you will be asked, and how you are a good fit for the role that you're applying for. We don't have the magic cure-all for interview nerves. Nerves are natural. However, they can impact on performance. And so the more confident you feel, this should help with nervousness. It's worth saying at this stage, though, that there are a minority of people that suffer very badly with performance nerves in all aspects of life. And if this is you, do book a guidance appointment with, a, with an advisor at the Career Service and we can explore this with you and, if necessary, signpost you to services that can help you. So how to prepare? So getting organised is a huge part of preparation. Even if you have limited time, think about putting together an interview checklist. Some of you may have heard of this lovely idiom, so getting your ducks in a row. And this just means sorting things out and getting organised so that you're ready for the next step. So some of the things you might want to include in your interview checklist are things like, you know, getting to know and, and finding out what type of questions you're going to be asked. Have you prepared your responses to these questions? Format of the interview. What sort of information have you been given by the employer or the organisation? So which online platform is being used? Are you familiar with it? What do you need to research before the interview? And are you prepared for the day itself? If it's an online interview, is there somewhere quiet that you can go? Or um, if you're at work or you have a, a study deadline, can you arrange things um, so that you can fit your interview in to your schedule comfortably? So an important part of preparation is understanding what employers want to know. So different questions will relate to, to these aspects. So employers want to know that you want the job. They want to know that you're enthusiastic and motivated. So they'll ask you questions about the role and the organisation. One example could be, why do you want to work for us? 
They'll also want to know that you can do the job and, and you've got the skills that they need. So we call these questions competency based questions. And an example of this could be, so give us an example of a time when you've used good communication skills. I'm going to talk a little bit about how to respond to these competency based questions in a minute. And then another type of question could be a strength based question. And this will be used by employers to find out that you will fit with them, their organisation and the team. So it's all about your personality. So a strength based question could be, how would your friends or your family describe you? We would always advise students and graduates to use the STAR technique when answering competency questions. So those are interview questions that begin, tell me about a time or can you give me an example? So if you haven't heard of STAR, just go to my career and there's lots of resources, including a STAR resource, which is easily accessible with some examples that clearly demonstrate the technique. One of those examples is here. And you can see that when you're learning STAR or when you're preparing a STAR example, the best way to do this is to break it down into these four sections. So there are lots of references to STAR throughout career service resources and support available for how to develop this. So tip two, targeted research. As you will all be aware from your studies, it's really easy to disappear down rabbit holes with research and can feel never ending. So it's really important if you've got an interview coming up to target your research onto specific areas. OK, listed on this slide are just a few ways you might like to research an organisation. Companies spend a lot of money on their social media and visual presence, so it's always worth delving into social media and, and their website. And don't forget alumni. Alumni graduates can be found on LinkedIn and on the University of Bristol, Bristol Connects. And it might be really useful to talk to an alumni who might be at the company that you're about to apply to for some insight into the interview process or just generally some information on that company. And last but not least, tip three, practice. We know that students and graduates do have a lot of demands on their time and not least academic deadlines. And also that you may not always get much notice from an employer or a recruiter with an interview date. So it's really important to priori prioritise what you can do, especially if your time is limited. So try and be as honest as you can be with yourself about your weak areas. Maybe you've got some previous interview feedback that can help with this. It's very tempting to go over the areas that you feel most comfortable with. So who can help you practice? So the career service is here to support you. We can offer you opportunities to practice your technique. So why not consider booking a guidance interview to practice your interview techniques, questions, um, and also talking through any concerns you have about the interview. We would also be happy to listen to and provide feedback with any presentation. If you haven't already done so, do have a look at the interview simulator tool, Interview360. This is a great resource that students and graduates can access via My Career, and you can use it as many times as you need to at your convenience. Interview360 has an online mock interview interface with a time response facility where you can customise interview questions and receive AI generated feedback contains a library of common questions and key points on how to answer them, including valuable employer tips and insights. Just before we go, here are a few additional practical tips for online interviews. The importance of eye contact is the same online as it is in person and training yourself to look at the camera and not the screen does take practice. It may feel uncomfortable to do this at first, so persevere, and it actually feels easier and more natural physically if you have positioned your laptop and device where the camera is at eye level.
If at all possible, conduct your interview on a laptop or PC rather than a smartphone. Always do a tech check, so familiarise yourself in advance with the platform that you'll be using. And although it sounds obvious, always do an inter check your internet connection. Have bullet points or key words to hand near to your camera eye level and always turn off any notification sounds on your devices and close down unnecessary or additional tabs. I mentioned at the beginning of the video that you may find it useful to create an interview checklist. So listed on this slide are just a few ideas for action. For example, I've highlighted here two sessions that we offer to students and graduates on interviews with our interview practice session, providing opportunities to practice interview techniques with others. So we've come to the end of our video. Thank you very much for listening and watching and we hope to see you all soon.